Welcome, my beautiful hauntlings, to episode one of Mia Mina Remembers. I am your host, Mia Mina. Thanks for joining me in my haunted library. This episode is different from any other I've made. I want to memorialize a person I never met in the physical world, but I watched his videos, debates, and live streams. I watched those he introduced me to in his circle. He was an inspiration and a mentor of sorts to me. Even in his death, he has inspired me. Yes, it's somewhat of a guilty pleasure of mine to watch his and his friends' videos. I want to say how much I appreciate the honorable, honest life he led and the integrity he held himself to. So, for a different reason today, now let me whisper in your ears. Cliff Overby, known on YouTube as Schrodinger's Cat, passed away unexpectedly on January 23rd, 2022. This left myself and many others in shock. Cliff, or SC, was only 46. He was working in Pascagoula, Mississippi, but was on his day off when he passed. As I said, I have been a longtime viewer and listener of him and his group of friends as a lurker. Because of that, I feel the need to say farewell for now to a very honorable man filled with integrity and love for his fellow men and women as he goes to walk in the battlefield far, far away. Cliff served the U.S. Navy for 22 years. He starred as an enlisted man and rose up to lieutenant who worked with the operations of SEAL Team 2 when he retired. He left the Navy to spend more time with his wife Nicole and his son Winston, both of whom survive him. Sovereign citizen, dude. Chapman, guys. Sovereign citizen. All about the gold bridge and how fraudulent it is. They hit me with a really strong dose of OC spray. I want to speak to you, Jazz Roger, now. I know the law, buddy, and I'm waiting for you to do something wrong so I can sue you in the pocket. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? Hi, folks. On YouTube, he was a friend, mentor, and debunker of flat earthers, First Amendment auditors, sovereign citizens, police, and any of those who do the dumb. His witty sarcasm was backed up by his education, knowledge, and preparation he did for each debate, live stream, and video he participated in. While I am currently singing his praises, I will say I know he had faults. We all do. But that's not what I'm focusing on for this tribute. Nicole graciously shared him with us, but he always showed his love for both her and their son Winston. Nicole was background supporter for a long time, but eventually she joined in the YouTube fun with Marvel Girl. She is loved as much as Cliff for many, many reasons. Winston was the apple of Cliff's eye. He loved his son unconditionally. He spoke of him all the time and how proud he was and how wonderful Winston was growing up to be. He was extremely proud of how smart Winston was as well. He was proud of his family. He loved them as much as they loved him. There was no measurable form large enough to express it. His intelligence came through his interactions with everyone. He has 100% copyright strike, counterclaim, and removal from the huge number of videos. False copyright strikes became a badge of honor as he struck them down. He was threatened with frivolous lawsuits which were never properly adjudicated. He was always helpful to anyone suffering from false copyright strikes or any other type of attacks which were unfounded. The wonderful thing about Cliff was what he did before the camera and behind was as honest as possible. Before the camera, he let the world know when people were wrong. Not just auditors, solvcits, and flat earthers, but also the police and officials. Honorable as he was, he would admit when he was wrong. He would leave the evidence of his error and his admittance. This can be seen in his videos as well. He wasn't afraid to ask questions when he didn't know the answer to something. Anyone could ask Artie, OTP, Natalie, Kit, PhD Tony, 
MC Tune, or any of the other experts he questioned if he needed to confirm something. It was his personal integrity to be honest in his dealings with the videos and his fellow men. Behind the scenes, he had a big heart. He would help people with his own actions and money. If the Super Chats were going to a charity or someone for a particular reason, he would eat the amount YouTube would take off the Super Chats and put it back in the full amount. He cared about his fellow men and women. He made sure his fans and friends and family were taken care of. Frodinger made all his fans feel like they were part of his circle. He didn't even like calling them fans because he felt we were all part of his friends and family. This includes those of us who are only lurkers. It always made us smile. We felt like we had a brother who we could count on to keep us entertained and loved, even when we lost three members of the circle. I think we all know pound because reasons, pound stuff and things, and pound fuck cancer. The last was specifically for OPT Lawyer, who passed away in November 2021 from cancer. Before that, Bullinator, aka David Fulton, Essie's longtime producer, died. Essie never changed the ending of his videos as a tribute to his longtime friend. He was willing to help the little YouTubers if they asked for his assistance. He really illustrated something I've said and believed my whole life. When one of us learns and grows, we all learn and grow. We all get better together. Cliff Overby, Schrodinger's cat. I will miss you and the light you showed to the world. I will regret not being brave enough to do more than lurk, comment occasionally on videos and in live streams. I will remember you always. I will support your family and friends as they remember you and suffer through this time of loss. As you live within our hearts and minds, you have embodied your moniker, Schrodinger's cat. Where you are both alive and dead, you have taught us and found immortality. Also remember, if you like this video and you want to see more stupid in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for listening. There are links in the description to his channel, his merch site, and Hero Soap, which sponsored his videos. I want to thank Nicole and Winston for sharing him with us, a Marvel girl, and Cliff for being part of the journey with us and him. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day or night, and be safe.